Hey, hope you're having a good Tuesday. Thank you for joining me for today's Five for Five. This week, we are looking at new beginnings. As we start a new year, we look at the new beginnings that God may have in store for us. And as we look forward, we often take a, a moment to take a look back, to look at the year in reverse, the year in the rearview mirror, and to see what God has done and maybe some of the things that have been hard for us to go through and some things that have been great for us to go through. And as we look back, we, we often take a chance to just pray through and assess what God may be doing in the future. Well, I want to encourage you as you do that to see that it's healthy to look back, but we can't stay always looking in the in the rearview mirror. We have to look forward and to see where God may be working because sometimes God will work in new and fresh ways and we could miss him if we're always looking for him to always work in the same ways that he has worked before. In fact, in Isaiah chapter 43, Isaiah is writing to the people of Israel. And I want you to hear in these verses how he, he encourages them and and, and draw some strength from God's past work and see if you can see what that past work was. In Isaiah 43, verse 16, it's written to the people who are, are being told that they're going to be captive in Babylon, the people who are told that they're going to be taken into a foreign land and that that's going to happen because of the judgment of God on them. And that as, as Isaiah is saying this, he says, Thus says the Lord who makes a way in the sea, a path in the mighty waters, who brings forth chariots and horses, army and warrior, they lie down, they cannot rise, they are extinguished, quenched like a wick. Do you recognize what Bible story that's pointing back to? It's actually, it's pointing back to the exodus from Egypt and the victory at the Red Sea. When the army of Egypt drowned in the Red Sea, chasing after the people of God. Isaiah is pointing back and he is looking at that picture. And for the people of Israel, exodus and the exodus from Egypt was always a milestone. It was a high mark for their their history, to look back and see God's deliverance, to see his work there as he would bring them in deliverance and bring them out of Egypt. Well, as they're looking back, it's interesting what Isaiah says next, though, because he says in verse 18, he says, remember not the former things, nor consider the things of old. Kind of a strange thing to think of, that they're not supposed to remember the Exodus now. Why would they not want to remember and tell of the glorious things that God's done? Well, in verse 19, he says, behold, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs forth. Do you not perceive it? I will make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert. See, God wanted them to not just look backwards. He wanted them to actually, in, in reality, to look forward and to see that God had some amazing things in store for them that would blow their minds, things that would be beyond comparison with what they had experienced before. I believe that part of that, if you read the rest of Isaiah, is that, that he had a Messiah in store for them, that he had the the Messiah who would bring salvation, Jesus Christ, in store for the people of Israel. That's part of these rivers in the desert that he would bring. He would bring deliverance for our souls, not just for ourselves, that he would bring deliverance from sin and death and hell and the grave. And those are the ways that God would bring healing, that God's continuing to do that too. And even now, after we look back at the cross and what Jesus has done through his death, burial, and resurrection, that as we look back, we also see that God's not done with us yet, that he still has work that he wants to do. You know, we can look back at the victories that God has done, and we can praise him for it. And even in our own lives, we can, we can remark on the amazing times that we've experienced him and ways that we've been able to engage with him and his people and just really connect. And we might look back at those times, and we can say, man, that was just some really good days. We have to be careful, though, that we don't get stuck in glory days. We have to be careful that only, we don't get stuck in the good old days, looking back at what we thought was so great back then and lose sight of what God is wanting to do in the future. See, God's not done with us yet. He's continuing to work in us. And if you fast forward to Revelation, you'll see that one day he's going to make all things new. But that newness doesn't just come at the end. He's working in us each and every day to make us new and alive in Jesus Christ. This year, I want to challenge you. Don't just look back in the rearview mirror. Don't just look back at glory days and, and praise God for the the good things that he's done, but look forward at where he is working. Look forward at what he is doing. Look forward to where he may be calling you to be a part of his work and his service and his ministry and his gospel message to your neighbors, your friends, your loved ones, your coworkers, and the way that he may be calling you to get in, in, involved in his mission right here in your neighborhood. Hope you have a great day. Join with us all this week as we look at new beginnings and start the new year off right.